In this video, we will be discussing how to use switch case statements. Now, a switch case statement is a statement in which a particular piece of code is run when a specific variable or variable is met. So in this example, what we'll be doing is setting up for another counter. So we're going to do int counter. We're going to have that equal zero. And we're going to start up our serial monitor by having serial dot begin. And we're going to do a 9600 baud. And in our void loop, that is where we will put the switch case statement. So in order to do it, we will put in, we will type this switch, and then we have to put in the variable. In this case, the variable will be counter. Okay. And then once you do that, you want to go ahead and have your curly braces situated. And then you want to start the first case. So you have to put case and then what is the variable number? So we're going to say that when counter, when a counter equals five, so we're going to say case and we're going to say five. Then we're going to say when counter equals five, what are we going to do? And in this situation, we're going to do a serial dot print. And then we're going to have it say counter is five. We're going to do something real simple. Okay. Then once you're done with the code that is supposed to execute, you then want to put in break. You always have to put in break. If you don't, then it will fall through and immediately go to the next case and so on and so forth. So to properly operate it, you want to put in a switch, put in the variable. In this case, it's going to be counter. And then we're going to say the case number. And then for here, it's going to be case five. So case five means when counter equals five, here's the code that's going to execute. And then when we're done with the code that's to execute, we're going to put in break and add semicolon. Then we're going to go ahead and go to the next one. You can put in as many as you want to. Uh, for this situation, we're just going to put in three. And I'm going to put in case five case seven print ln making sure you put in your break as well and I'm going to do this one more time so to make it quick I'm just going to do a co quick copy paste we're going to say when it equals 10, we're going to type in counter is 10 and break. Now, the last thing you need to do when you're finished with all of your case statements for your switch case, the last thing you want to do is your default. And your default is going to be what prints or what executes when, for this situation, when counter doesn't equal any of the numbers that are displayed in the case. And for this, we're going to just say, I'm going to take this serial dot print line because it's quicker and easier. And we're going to say counter is not in range. Okay. And then once that's done, we are good to go. However, we still need to do an increment. So when we're done with the switch case statement, we're going to go out of the parentheses that control the switch case statement. As you can see, here's the ending of the curly brace for the switch case. Here's the beginning right here. We're going to go underneath that and we're going to do a counter plus plus to increment it by one. And then we're going to have a delay for 250 milliseconds. It doesn't have to be 250 milliseconds, but that's just what we're putting down. And then we need it to be, we need to have it so that if the counter goes above 10, that it recycles back down to zero and then it continues on. So with that, we're going to have an if statement inserted here. And we're going to say if counter is greater than or equal to 11, we're going to have counter equals zero. And that'll reset it back down to zero and then it'll go back up and start the incrementation again. Okay, so now that we're done with that, verify everything's good to go. We're on nano, we're using the old bootloader, bootloader, and we're using the COM port five. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and save it, upload it. Okay. 
All right, there you go. So you see it's five, seven, 10, and then it starts all over again. Now what we could do here is slow it down a bit. So we're gonna change that to 500 milliseconds. And we're gonna upload it again. And then we're gonna clear output. So this makes it go a lot slower and you can see, boom, counter equals five, counter equals seven, counter equals 10, and then it recycles back down to zero and then continues up from there using this increment value. Quick, easy, straight to the point. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.